Hi friends! So in today's video we're gonna be looking at my Notion setup tour, um, an updated Notion setup because I did a Notion setup tour a few months ago, like four months ago, um, but it has changed a lot since then so I wanted to show you how it changed it for 2021 and like you know the new year and whatever. But yes, I'm also gonna be sharing my template because in my last Notion video which was a Notion tutorial I shared a little bit of my setup um, and some of you guys really wanted a template so that's what I'm gonna be giving you guys today um, but make sure to watch the video so that you know what you're getting and I'm gonna be explaining how I use everything, how I use all my databases um, so you may want to know that before getting my template if you do want to use it also yes, my hair is pink now um, it's very pink I don't know what else to say anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now but I, I, I'm gonna keep talking because you know I'm gonna talk the whole video <laughs> um, and I'll take you to my Notion setup tour, I guess. Yes, okay, let's go. So this is my home. This is what my home screen looks like. It's just a very simple cover that's actually, it actually has like a plant here, but I don't really like the plant. So, you know, I just hide it. Um, I got it from a cover pack in on Twitter. So I'm gonna try to find it and leave it linked down below if you guys want it. And yeah, okay, so here I have a call out with a quote. And then I have four sections here for my like four categories for stuff. And then here I have a weather widget that I made. Um, if you want to see how to make it, I showed you how to make it in my Notion tutorial. So yes, this is this is the weather widget. And then here I just have a section for events this week. It's actually a Tuesday, so I should like check this off. Um, this one, it's not like a to-do list or anything like that. It's just like a way to remind myself of different events um, if I think I may forget about them. <laughs> um, so that's where I put all the stuff. So let's go into the section. So I have a section for bedroom, which is all my personal stuff, my backpack, which is my school stuff, living room, which is all my entertainment stuff, and then Hermione mode, which is, you know, all my stuff for Hermione mode, like my YouTube channel and stuff. Um, so let's go into bedroom. Also, I'm gonna leave link down below um, my Pinterest board where I've put most of the images you'll see in my Notion setup if you want just the images and you don't want like the whole template and stuff. Um, so you'll be able to find that in the description box as well as the template bedroom as I said is all my personal stuff So let's go through it. So this is my cover page It's pixel art that I got from an article which I'm going to try to link down below um, I'm not sure if I saved the article where I got this art from but you know I'm gonna leave it linked down below if I find it um, and then here I have another quote and here I have a section for my monthly goals and on the left side I have a little picture here that fits the theme and then another quote and then a page for my archive so I want to start saving like my goals and stuff so whenever whenever a month was over I would just delete these and just change the month or whatever but I want to start trying to save them so whenever the month is over I am just going to move this to archive so so then at the end of the year I can look back at it and stuff you know um, and then in this 2021 section I have a weekly checkup and yearly goals and habits so for my weekly checkup I have a quote here and then the theme for this page is like yellow and pink as you can see um, so I have some reminders here to like drink water stretch go outside all of that stuff Then I have two quotes here to kind of like fill the space then in this section I have song of the week why do I, it's in it no it's not necessary at all but you know it's there it's cute um yeah so and then here i have a section for my reset routine so my reset routine is something that i do on sundays every week to kind of reset and start the week properly um so i basically made this whole page just for my reset routine but you know i wanted to make it cute so i have like an excuse to come not an excuse but like to motivate me to actually check this page every single week and try to do my reset routine because sometimes you know i forget <laughs> um but yeah this is my reset routine and then here i just have a section for my 2021 mood board that i made on pinterest so i just downloaded all the images and i put put it here so i can like you know check it every week and kind of remind myself the vibe i want for this year you know so as you can see it's very cottage core and fairy core because that is the aesthetic i want for this year okay anyway <laughs> 
um, I want to change this cover because the color doesn't really match this pink which annoys me a little bit but I'm gonna you know change that whenever I have time I do have time I just procrastinate it anyway <laughs> Um, then in my yearly goals and habits, pretty self-explanatory, um, my yearly goals and habits, um, it's very, this page is very simple, it's not decorated at all, because I just have my goals here in, uh, um, what is this, this is a board, so whenever I start doing something, I move it to, like, doing, or when it's done, stuff like that, and each goal has a little bit of, like a few bullet points on how to achieve the goal just to make sure that i'm you know setting goals and not just setting them for the sake of setting them but like actually making a plan to uh like make a plan to do it then on this section i have my habits so i have eight habits here that i want to keep this 2021 um and then i've created some systems for them to make sure that i actually do them and kind of implement them in into my routine um i kind of got this idea from the book atomic habits i haven't read the book but i've watched like a bunch of videos that mentioned the book so i um i kind of figured out that i could simplify it because the way they do it is like oh if you want to set a habit you have to make a system for it so your habit is like the goal so your system is how you're going to implement it to routine and you need to be very like detailed and when you're going to start doing it or from when to what date and stuff you know so i didn't want that i just kind of made some tips on how to keep my habits up and you know just do them <laughs> um and then in this section i just have like a few call outs with like stuff that i want to be like the person i want to be you know um so yeah then i have three sections here for my nightstand lists and drawers so as you can see my whole theme for like my notion setup is like like a like an actual house so i have different sections of like different rooms in a house like my bedroom um my living room and stuff so i want i decided to keep that up in like the pages themselves so i have like my nightstand so my nightstand is like the most important pages that i check very often so like the stuff that you would keep on your nightstand so you can reach them like easily and then i have lists well technically this is not like a part in my room but like lists you know <laughs> and then drawers you know like drawers in your desk because it's stuff that you know i do use but i don't need to check that um that often um but yeah let's go through them so my ninth sign i have event radius my volunteer program organization page and my expenses and income tracker so advent radius um, it's very self-explanatory. It's just a page to keep track of all like my adventure ideas, stuff that I wanted to do. Because um, I wasn't born in Canada. I currently live in Canada, and I moved here like two years ago. Um, so there's a bunch of things that I want to like explore and stuff, you know. So I have a whole section for just Canada, and whenever I get to travel, um, which will not be anytime soon, <laughs> but whenever I get to travel, I will like plan my travels here and stuff, you know. So I have like a list for small things that I would like to do and then big things and I also have a database here for interesting places that I would like to go to and yeah then on this section I just have a list of countries that I would like to visit someday. Um, then my volunteer organization page I can't show you this page because it has a lot of like personal information and information about other people that I can show you um, but it's just what I use to organize that. Um, when I'm sharing the template, the template is going to be like a little bit different. It's not going to include all my personal details, of course. And there will be some pages deleted like this one because, I don't know, it doesn't really fit everyone. Um, so everything will not be the same. Then I have my expenses and income tracker, which is basically just a table, which I can put like all my information on it and i got this template from notion so notion provides you with them with some templates and i just used their like what was it like their their budget template so i just used that one and i modified it a little to kind of fit my needs and here's where i keep track of all my money then on my lists i have my life and my list my someday list my wish list and my gift ideas list so in life admin it's basically a list of all those little things um that i have been putting off for months <laughs> but that don't they're not necessarily like important like they're not you know they're not super important but that i would like to do so the goal is to have a life admin day and try to do as much of these as possible so yeah 
this is my list of that i got the live admin idea from Michelle b um i'm gonna leave her channel up below or like a video where she explains what li a live admin list is so if you want to create your own you can check that out um then my someday list is pretty self-explanatory it's a list of things that i would like to do someday yeah and then i have a section here for things that i want to do when i move to college then my wish list is that my wish list so it's just a bunch of things that i think are pretty cool and if i ever have some extra money i would like to buy one of these most of these are from small businesses because i do follow a lot of small businesses on twitter and most of them have their own websites so it's not like i can keep them all in one place easily so i decided to create this page for that mainly um this is filtered so that whenever i do get something i can just check it off and it will like disappear and stuff um and yeah and each of these has like a tag so it can be like hair products skincare products games stationery accessories prints other shoes furniture makeup and art materials so you know um there are different tags because i like i like everything to be very organized so whenever i you know oh i want to get like a new skincare product so i can just add a filter and quickly like make that the tag is skincare products and it will just show me skincare products you know so that's pretty cool i think but yeah so then i have my gift ideas list so this is pretty self-explanatory is gonna be my way of keeping track of my gift ideas because i am very bad at getting gifts because when it comes to time to you know actually give a person a gift i don't know what to buy even though i probably had some ideas like during the year you know so that's what that is and then in my drawers we have my routines my brain dump my plan catalog and my sims challenges page which sounds really dumb but i just love the sims very much okay <laughs> so let's go to my routines this page is also very simple it's just my way of kind of setting my routine and i have my reset routine once again here um but i don't check this page very often it works mostly as a way for me to organize my routine like whenever my routine has to change it's my way of um you know kind of writing it down because i guess i'm a visual learner because if it's just in my brain it like it confuses me <laughs> so i need to like see it for me to like be like okay this is organized um then my brain dump so this is just a database it's a list with just pages that i create to like dump my brain i guess <laughs> um so we have like saving up for college you know i kind of use it as my notes app like on my phone but like for things that are a little bit more important so i have like saving up for college ideas things to check out later and notion pages so things to check out later actually has a database here it has a table so let's say that i have like i found like an article and i'm like oh this is cool um but like it's about like finding a job or something it's like right now i don't need that so this will be cool to this will be cool to read when i actually need it so um, i just use the notion um web clipper chrome extension so this one right here and yeah so i just click on it and then it will like save a page to a specific database that you pick so i just put the database that i want so things to check out later and it will show it here which is pretty cool so i just have it organized by tags so whenever i you know when i'm going into university i'm gonna be like oh let's see if any of these are useful so i can just filter use a filter to show only um stuff that is like related to university and stuff like that you know so i thought this was cool because i think we all have those what you find like a, a good article or a video that it's not useful right now but you think it may be useful in the future so this is my way of keeping track of those things then my plan catalog it's also pretty self-explanatory it's just my way of keeping track of my plants and how to care for them one of my goals for 2021 is to grow my plant collection so this was this will really be helpful when i have more plants and i forget how to care for them um so yeah so i just have each plant has its own like page and i've added a template to this database so that whenever i let's say that i got a new plant i've created a template so that when i create a new plant when i get a new plant i can just click on it and here i can keep track of any like tips to care for it and stuff and then the different properties are stuff like how much i should water it how much sunlight it should get humidity care tips some like more important care tips 
then one for the picture of the plants so I can, you know, see them here. But yeah, I have different views for it. I have a table view for this one too. So if I want to see all the information, but for now, I just want to see how cute my plants are. So there we go. Then my Sims challenges page is going to be my way of keeping track of my Sims challenges because I play a lot of, okay. I play a lot of Sims. I love The Sims 4. I go through phases with it where I play non-stop for like a month and then I stop and then I play again and then I stop, you know, it's it, it's a whole thing. But like when I do play, I always, I, I usually tend to play challenges. So that's just a little bit more interesting. And sometimes these challenges are a little bit more complicated with like the stuff you need to do. So this was my way of organizing that because as I said, I need to organize everything in my life, including the way I play um, video games. Is that concerning? Yes, but we're not going to talk about it, okay? Let's just ignore that. Anyway, this um, section here is just a link to my life admin database. So it just shows me the priority one tasks just to kind of remind myself from when I have to do this. And here I put that the, my next admin day was gonna be Saturday the 2nd. It is Saturday, it's not Saturday, <laughs> it's Tuesday the 5th and I still haven't done it. So probably not gonna happen. So on this section, I also have a cute picture that also matches this theme, you know? I try to keep my pictures, I, like I try to make my pictures my, match my theme because I think that's way cuter. And matching colors is just my way of making my notion setups look cute. Um, but here I have a section for reminders to myself. Um, it's just two like reflection things that I've written that I w would like to check more often. And it's like, yeah, I'm not going to show you that because it's very personal. But yeah, this is pretty much it for my bedroom page. I don't like to scroll. I hate scrolling. If I were to put something here, I would not look at it ever. So my most important stuff is right here um so that i don't have to scroll too much then let's go to my backpack and my school setup has changed a little bit since the last time i showed you this in my notion tutorial so here i just have a call out that says everything you need to succeed at online school also i made this cover um, i don't know how i could share it with you guys uh, i'm gonna try i guess um if i do find a way of sharing it I'm gonna leave a link down below in case you guys want it. I don't know why you would want it, but yes. Um, then I have the call out. I already talked about that. And then here I have a link to my playlist, my Spotify playlist. Um, this is the playlist that I usually listen to when I'm doing homework and stuff. So, you know, here it is to kind of get, get me in the school mode, I guess. So here I have a countdown thing for the end of my semester. This is a widget that I got from indify.com.co, I think. I'm not sure. I'm going to leave a link down below again in case you guys want to make this countdown thing. It's very easy. You just go to the link, make your countdown widget, and then copy and paste the link here and then embed it so when you paste the link it will give you the option to create a bookmark or create embed make sure to click create embed and there you go um then here i have my notebook section so my notebooks is just like my classes you know so my current class in my current classes i have like my classes for the semester and then of course my french class in quotation marks because it's not actually a class um so each of these has like a theme so this one is like watermelon themed um and this one is the first time that i'm adding a to-do list here i'm like linking my master to-do list i only have one class at a time so i don't really need to do this but you know it's fine and then here i have a section for my notes um our class you know it doesn't have a lot of notes i completely forgot to make this cute but you know this one's strawberry themed english is lemon themed um and i have some of my notes here if you want to see what my notes look like this is what they look like on notion because since we started um since online school started i've been using notion to like write my notes and stuff because i'm just too lazy to take my notebooks out i guess um, but yeah, it's pretty much the same thing that in my communication technology class, it's cherry themed. And yeah, I, I got this, this one, this cover from Twitter. You guys, just go to Notion Twitter, like literally that hashtag like has saved my life because I just go on Twitter, look up Notion Twitter, and it's like, I spend hours there, it's so good. Everyone has gorgeous spreads 
and it's just it's good for inspiration and also for being like oh dang why can't i do that you know <laughs> so yeah and then my languages page i need to open it so that it looks good it looks like this it's my way of keeping track of my french i guess and yeah it's very basic i have some tips here some resources and some other languages i want to learn um, then some videos I would like to watch anytime soon whenever I get my motivation back um, Then a cute picture here. It's also pixel art and then you yeah, have like a word of the day thing Then some quick links and then some lessons I need to do and then here I just have a section from for some notes The way I learned French is like Spanish to French because I just find that easier than English to French because you know Spanish is my first language and it's a little bit closer to French than English so it's easier to translate from Spanish to French than English to French okay that was a whole thing that I didn't need to get into anyway my voice is getting really raspy and like deep I don't know what's happening um anyway yes okay let's go back to my backpack so here I have my master to list as I said so here's where I add all my tasks for school for, like my assignments and stuff and as I said I only have one class at a time so I don't really need a lot of like a big list and different like tags and stuff to keep track of it because I see a lot of like notion set of videos on YouTube and stuff and they all have very complicated setups for like school but i don't really need that so this is just my way of doing that and whenever like i have a bigger task like a big project um i can make this into a page so i just click open and for example here i have made um this into a page so that this is my final assignment for my religion class so here i just have like a pdf embedded here with like the rubric and all the stuff and then my checklist to you know stay in track or whatever here i just have the due date and then recently i added this one for like my class um and i have filters so that whenever i check something off it goes away and it doesn't sh um it doesn't show me it anymore and it's sorted by due date here i have a cute picture that matches my theme and then another, a quote here and then here i have a section for reminders um so i can just click this add a new reminder and i can add a new one pretty cool here i have some helpful pages and a section for planning so in my helpful pages i have my grade tracker my schedule and my academic goals so my grade tracker is a template that i got from notion yeah this is my way of tracking of tracking my 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 grades and stuff you know then i have my schedule so my schedule is just my as i said when i keep things in my head it all gets scary it, it all gets very fussy and i get overwhelmed so i need to write everything down um to kind of organize myself so because i only have one class at a time now because of because of quarantine and all of that my schedule changes every month basically so this is my way of keeping you know being able to organize that um it's just very simple i have my current class here some quick links and then my schedule like for the class and then my ideal routine then my academic goals you know they're my academic goals this one is very simple i should probably revisit this page because i haven't changed my goals since like um a year and a half ago like i literally haven't touched this page this this page in like a year and a half i'm not even kidding but anyway <laughs> i have my goals here and some long-term goals and then a link to my shsm page which is a program in my school um and you need to like do certain things to complete it and stuff so that's what i'm doing and i have this page to organize it to make sure that i am i am in track to do all the things that i need to do um and yeah i have this cute little page if you watch my first notion setup tour you'll know that I, I this was my cover page for my home page i just i i missed it so i put it here um and this is just my way of organizing that because as i said if it stays in my head then it is very overwhelming and then some planning for my post-secondary options so i have a list of some universities that i'm interested in and then some programs i'm interested in so as you can see each university has a color so um like this program is in this university so i wanted to be able to visualize that so i just added colors to it you know and like categorize them and then here i just have a section for helpful links and a section that i added recently for a college fair that i 
went to in quotation in quotation marks because it was online um this year but yeah that's that's pretty much it for my backpack i think it it's it's everything that i need i don't need anything else really so it's perfect for me um and yeah let's go to my living room now so my living room is my as i said my entertainment stuff and let's first of all can we just appreciate this emoji like this is the cutest emoji i've ever seen i don't know why it's so cute to me but like this is not what it looks like like on your iphone and stuff but it's just so cute like look at it it's the, the green and the yellow is so beautiful and the way it's all like oh, i love this emoji this is like my favorite emoji in ocean i yes i love it anyway i'm pretty sure i got the idea of doing like oh my living room and my bedroom from this em from this emoji because i just wanted to use it um so i have three sections here so i have my reading nook my tv room and disney movies so my reading nook this emoji is also so cute i know it's just a door but it's like the cutest door i've ever seen anyway i have my bookshelf for 2021 so all the books that i read um let me show you what my 2020 reading list looked like um so this is what my 2020 reading list looked like um as you can see very extensive there were 52 books here and i just like to keep track of all the books that i read and stuff so this is it and then for this year it's a little bit more elaborate because now i am going to annotate my books here because i get all my books from the library so i can annotate them so this is my way of you know just writing down my thoughts um whenever i'm reading and i want to be a little bit more of a smart read reader this year and like read with more intention so this is gonna be my way of doing that so I, again i made a template for this so whenever i create a new i put a new book here i can just click new book and it will automatically fill this page with this so here's gonna be where i keep my annotations and this is a link to this database which has quotes but which i'm gonna like show you later and then my final thoughts this is gonna be my where i'm gonna write my reviews and then i'm gonna post them to goodreads because i want to write better reviews i guess i mean my reviews are not gonna be like professional or anything like that i'm gonna be like you know if i love a book it's gonna be me screaming you know stuff like that but you know i just want to keep track of them because like i said i'm obsessed with organizing everything in my life um but yeah let me just delete this and then i have you know i have like the genres and then the score and then the date read and some this note section is for whenever i want to give like a half star to a book so let's say that here i put like three stars but it's actually 3.5 you know so this that's my section for that i got this template from from notion it's it's like the reading list template and i just modified it and then here i have a section for quotes so whenever i have a quote that i like in a book that i read i can just put it here so blah 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 and then i can relate it to the book so this section is a relation to this database just so i don't have to like write it all down i can just add this and it's gonna show me it and then i can put the page number here so this is you know it's very cool something that i'm doing i'm trying this here because i'm um, sometimes i really like a, a, a quote in a book but i can't do anything about it so i just write it down in my notes app and then i forget about it so it's gonna be my way of not forgetting about the quotes i like <laughs> um but yes let's go back to my living room and now on to my tv room so last year i only kept track of all the movies i watched but this year i want to keep track of all the everything i watch so i'm gonna show you what my 2020 movie list looked like so these are all the movies that i watched in 2020 um a lot yes so for this year i'm gonna keep track of everything and this is all this is also based on the template like in the notion template that's it's the same as the reading list template but um, i just modified it and you know i can keep track of like what i watch and then the platform where, where i watch it but yeah, and i have different like status for things and um right now i only have two tv shows here and i'm using the notes section for like to keep track of the seasons i'm on stuff i'm currently on season seven actually but for movies sometimes i write my thoughts here if i really like the movie i'm gonna be like ah so good uh, and that's what the notes 
um, the notes section is for. Anyway, and then here, my Disney movies, it's literally just a list of all the movies that I want to watch because my lifelong goal is to watch every single Disney movie I can because of course I'm not gonna watch every single Disney movie ever because there are a lot of them and some of them you can't really access anymore because they're too old. <laughs> so, you know, these are all the ones that I think are pretty much accessible and I'm gonna watch them. You know, just I am going to watch them. It's not like a thing that, oh, yes, I would like to know. Okay, I am going to do it. <laughs> um, I started this list in like 2018. And yes, I am obsessed with Disney. What about it? Anyway, now let's go on to her mining mode. This is where I plan my videos. And I have this very cute pixel art here. Um, it's from the same article that I got my other pixel art cover from. And yeah. Here I have a little call out that says everything that goes into having a YouTube oh <gasps> no okay everything that goes into having a YouTube channel planning editing and scheduling I have another piece of pixel art because I just love pixel art apparently then I have another quote here and then I have a section for some other pages some links my editing process and my weekly schedule and then here I have my video plans like a link to this database my video plans but in the calendar view so I can see when I'm supposed to post things and stuff you know so first let's go through these pages so my youtube goals these are my youtube goals I recently moved them into like a list database so that when I check them off they're gonna like disappear you know um these are my 2021 youtube goals very simple um but yeah anyway so here I have my resources so research, this is just my way of keeping track of all the music that I use in my videos um, and I just like have the links here to those songs that I use and stuff and I have them in different categories like cute little music um, I know this that doesn't make sense but this is what I mean and jazz and then here I just have two links to YouTube channels that post non-copyrighted music so you know this was just my way of making like my posting process easier I guess and then here I have my video plans so this is just a list of all the videos that I want to make um, just, and I have them you know in like different views and stuff like to post um, videos that I've posted there we go all the videos that I've posted and yes yes and then i have a template so that whenever i make a new video um the idea template so i'm gonna show you how i used it for this one i, I didn't really plan this video a lot but <laughs> there we go so this is mostly for when i make videos that require a lot of planning so for example my notion tutorial required a lot of planning but i didn't use this template because i hadn't made it yet um, so then in this section, I just have a link to my resources and then here I have a list for title ideas and then here I just have my checklist for when I'm editing and then here I just have uh, a section to link any resources I use to make the video. So for example, my Notion tutorial, I had like a bunch of resources that I wanted to share or things that I use to like improve my tutorial I guess and like you know have more information about it um so yeah in this section I just have like the video part so I have the main idea here this is where I write the main idea here's the planning section so I have this is a list database so these are like the rough ideas the outline if like the the video has different sections like my notion tutorial had different sections and that's what i use my outline section for and then here if the video needs a script a script um this is where i write it then here i have a list for b-roll shots i haven't really used this um i haven't really made a lot of videos that had like b-roll shots and stuff lately and then uh here i just have a section to add any notes to the video like for example here i have a bunch of notes that says like oh i have to make sure that i add this link to my description box and stuff like that if we go back to remind mode here i just have like a link a, like a link to my video plans and i just have it in calendar view as i said um so yeah this is my way of organizing my youtube channel i know i know not many people can relate to this but i'm still gonna leave it in the template in the rare case you guys want to use it or maybe you can turn this into like a project section you can turn this into like oh small if you have any like projects like personal projects you know like you want to create your small business or you want to i don't know start a podcast stuff like that maybe this can be your section for that anyway that's it for this video um that's it for my whole notion setup it's very simple you know very 
bring to the point, I guess, um, but also cute because, you know, it has to be aesthetic. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And remember, if you want my template, it's in the description box, um, as well as my Pinterest board for all the pictures that I use for my setup. And if you do want to learn how to make your own setup, make sure to check out my Notion tutorial here or there. I'm not really sure. Um, it's also going to be in the description box. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'm gonna go now. Stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!